So these are all simple applications of the concept of how to find the nature of roots from the value of b square minus 4ac. Now, we suppose it's the other way around. Suppose the roots are given, then how can we find the equation? Now, if you want to find the nature of roots, how do we find that? Remember, I told you we can just give for our comfort, we can give the roots name as alpha and beta. So alpha you have and beta. So if you consider the equation ax square plus bx plus c is 0, alpha plus beta, if you see, will always be minus b by a. You can add this, alpha minus b plus root b square minus 4ac minus 2a. If you see it, minus b plus root b square minus 4ac by 2a is alpha and beta is minus b minus root b square minus 4ac by 2a. So this if you see, it will be minus b minus b minus 2. This part will get cancelled and you get minus 2b by 2a which is the same as minus b a. So whenever you add the roots of a quadratic equation, the sum will always be negative of the coefficient of x upon the coefficient of x square. And alpha into beta would always be c by a. If you multiply these two part, you will end up getting c upon a. You will end up getting something like c upon 2a. That is you get uh, 4 4 a square c upon 2a or something. So as a result of which you get alpha beta is equal to c upon a. Now once you have the roots, how can you find the equation? The quadratic equation will always be x square minus of alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta is 0. Let's take an example. Suppose you have a quadratic equation. You want to form a quadratic equation in such a way that one of the roots is 3 plus root 2. How can you form the quadratic equation? Now, if you remember what I mentioned earlier, if one root is 3 plus root 2, the other one has to be 3 minus root 2. So, if you look at this, you will get the equation as x square minus alpha plus beta. That is 3 plus root 2 plus 3 minus root 2 into x plus alpha beta, which is 3 plus root 2 into 3 minus root 2 is 0. So this would be the equation. Now here this part gets cancelled and hence you get x square minus 6x and this will be of the form a plus b into a minus b which is going to be a square that is 3 square minus b square that is minus root 2 the whole square. This whole thing turns out to be 0. This one simplification would give you x square minus 6x plus 4 minus 2 is 0. So you get x square minus 6x plus 2 is equal to 0. So you get the quadratic equation as x square minus 6x plus 2 is 0. We did the concept of how if you are given the equation we can find the roots. But suppose the roots are given. In fact even if one root is given and more so if it is an irrational one then we can definitely find the other root beta. Add the two roots, negative of that is the coefficient of the second term. Multiply the two roots, that will be the third term. x square will be featuring as it is. So this is how if we know the roots, we can get back the equation. So to sum it up in a nutshell, whenever you have a quadratic equation, ax square plus bx plus c is 0. The sum of its roots will always be minus b by a. And the product of the same roots would be c upon a. And hence, from the nature of roots, of course, from the roots actually, we can find the equation, which will be the, the general form of the equation is x square minus sum of the roots into x plus product of the roots. Okay. Now, let's see how we can do this. So, as told over here, sum of roots minus b by a, product of roots is c by a, as we said. And hence the equation is x square minus sum of roots into x plus product of roots into x. That means it is actually x square minus bx upon a plus c upon a.
So minus the sum of the roots means minus of minus b by a. Which if you simplify it again would turn out to be x square plus ax square plus bx plus c is 0. So that means if the sum of the roots is known from that we can find out the nature of roots or from the equation. Right.